what exactly is a zone anyway? It's not like the ozone. Well, in this micro nugget, we're going to talk to you about what the SRX or our security gateway in Junos thinks about zone. Quite simply, a zone is a group of interfaces with similar security needs. Hey, we're all done. We're good to go. You understand that, right? Well, okay, so it might be a little bit more difficult than that, okay? Policies are actually going to control how traffic is handled between each of our zones. So looking at my little diagram here, I have an IT zone, a data center zone, an engineering zone, a human resources zone. We probably had a few others being in our corporation. And I'd probably call this the internet zone out here or, you know, whatever we want to do it. But what we're going to do is set up the interfaces to belong to one zone or the other. Now, there is a null zone, okay, so blank if you will, but that exists by default, and actually all interfaces that are not assigned anyplace else belong to that. Okay? And really what happens here is all traffic going to or from that zone is dropped. So basically, you're not getting anywhere by default. Now, this is really kind of um, annoying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for lack of a better word, because out of the box, you go to plug in an SRX device and stuff doesn't happen. It doesn't get where you want it to, you don't, you don't know what's going on with it, and nobody really tells you why. Well, that's why I'm here. We're here to help you out. So look at this from a null zone perspective. Know that it's there and know that we have to pick things and go to a zone. Uh, there are some exceptions. So your management interfaces, so my FXP0 uh, or EM0, depending on what device that I happen to be on, um, it really can't be assigned to a zone anyway because it's not transiting traffic. This is all designed for transiting rules or things going to the router itself, but from users, okay? So normally it's going to be from a transit standpoint. Now, there are some rules as far as our zone behavior goes, okay? So, I mean, outside of the policy, because that obviously sets the rules for traffic handling. But you can assign a logical interface into a zone, okay? So, quite simple. You can't assign it to more than one zone. So, all right, that's fine. You can also assign a logical interface into a routing instance. You cannot assign the same logical interface into more than one routing instance. So, you know, I mean, it kind of makes sense that way. It's either going to be in one thing or the other. I can't have a single interface be in HR and in engineering. I can set up access controls that allow similar features between them, but I can't have one interface belong to multiple zones in there. So pick one that you want. Now, notice here that I'm saying logical interface. Okay, so what does that translate to in the Junos world? That's right, a unit. Okay, you may see it from other vendors as a sub-interface, really whatever you want to call it, it's perfectly cool, but the logical portion is what's going to belong to a zone or a routing instance at that point. Okay? So all zone logical interfaces at that point must belong to the same routing instance. So I can't have some things in HR belong to one routing instance and other things in HR belong to another one because we'd get really confusing at that point in time. Uh, basically, you'll have multiple zones is what it boils down to. Okay. So you do need to think about how you're going to create your zones based on how your interfaces are done. A lot of people keep it really simple. You know, I have an inside and I have an outside. Uh, well, we might see that with other vendors. In the Junos world, our default behavior on our branch uh, devices will have some zones already in there, and that is a trust and an untrust. Okay, so basically, you know who your friends are, <laughs> or at least know who you can trust anyway. Yeah, you know, you may have some friends that you don't, but we're not going to get into that discussion. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.